Howdy guys, I am back with more Mass Effect working on the side assignments here in the Citadel and I was walking Commander around Shepherd, could I have another word with you? I was walking around, I'm still trying to find all these darn keepers for the um, scan the keepers one I'm still missing too and um, as I'm looking around for them I'm finding all sorts of shenanigans to get into and Miss Emily Wong wants to talk to me again Hello again Commander, I've got a proposition for you since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What kind of help? What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Oh, man. What, what, what does the bug do? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Man, that's an invasion of privacy. I don't like that. What are the dangers of it? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. You're still spying on people trying to do their job. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. But the thing is, if the, oh, the traffic controllers were really that worried about it, wouldn't they protest or lodge a complaint or do something themselves? Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? Oh, man. Well, I guess, you know, uh, it sounds like it's for the greater good, maybe, and I'd, I don't know how true it is, but, like, I've heard that air traffic controllers have... The mo one of the most report one of some of the most stress of any job so I'll try I can't promise anything but I'll see what I can do give me the bug excellent just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area thanks again for your help in the long run this story is going to save lives I don't like it but I'll do it uh. All right, well, I'm going to go get into some more trouble, and I'll see you guys in a second. All righty, I'm going to go plant the, the bug, and all right, I guess that was it. I thought it would be more complicated than that. All right, let's go uh, talk to her then. All right, I planted your bug, lady. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. <sighs> You're welcome. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Man, I'm not sure if I agree with this style of uh, doing journalism, but it is what it is. Alright, back to side quests. Alrighty, I found one of the keepers I missed. It was in the docking area, but as I was looking around, double-checking for the last one, of course, there's someone else to talk to. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Oh, what's your problem? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Um... I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Oh, man. Well, I can't uh, fly out there right now, all seen as the Normandy is grounded, but uh, what do you mean attacked? Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Okay. What kind of ship was it? 
Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. So you willingly went into a place, or your brother willingly went into a place filled with pirates, and you brought a little rowboat with no guns or shields, and now you're like, I think he was probably attacked. Of course he was attacked. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. If I happen to be in the area, sure, but... Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. I'll see what I can do. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I'm not going to be able to get to my ship for a while. <laughs> Alrighty, I finally found the last keep, uh, keeper to scan, which is good because I have another quest right there. So I don't know if anything's going to happen. Uh, I got a much er uh, much deserved fanfare. I definitely needed that. Um, let's see, where's the? It said it. Let's see, did I finish it? Was there nothing else to do after uh, scanning them? Or my? Hmm. Really? That's there's nothing else after that. I th hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Um. Let's go check out this signal right over here. My gosh, that was not a fun quest running around scanning well, all those things. Alright, am I in the right spot? I am. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming what in is from the woods. Our quarry has employed a hidden relay to redirect their signal. I shall trace the new signal. There's another signal I've gotta look for now. <sighs> Boy, there's a lot of running around looking for stuff in this game. So there's a second source. I'm wondering if it has anything to do with our friend there. This appears to be another relay. I believe the receiver for the new signal is located somewhere on the Presidium. Okay, so never mind. I, I was close. I mean, how are you doing these days? Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? So what? It's no big deal. Don't underestimate this opportunity, Commander. You have a chance to do great things for the Earth Clan. Perform well and your species may soon be asked to join the Council. There is no greater honor in the galaxy. A word of warning, however. The eyes of the entire galaxy are on you now. Some of them are hoping you will fail. Be careful, Commander. Okay, well, never mind. I guess he doesn't... I should go. ...really have anything Goodbye, new to say. Commander. And I've been a specter for a while. I guess I should have came back and talked to him long ago. All right, so the third signal is just over here, thankfully. So let's go over to it and see if we can get to the bottom of what the heck all this signal stuff is about. Um, there it goes. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Womp womp. That could be a problem. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Um... You're sentient. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Okay, well... We're... I'm gonna have to leave, so we're about at a bit of an impasse now, aren't we? Um... Wh what the heck? If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. <laughs> I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth, 
to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Uh, well, that's, um... You know, that, that should be rounds right there to kill it, but it's alive, and, you know, I think it's just seeking to be near something it can relate to, and unfortunately the Geth are the only other real true AIs, I believe. Um, let's talk to this thing some more. Um, what is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. What the heck? Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Oh, okay. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. What? What do I even do right now? We don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. Oh. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. <sighs> I don't even know what to do. I don't... You're bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Um... Well... Enough talk. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism oh, before no. it activates. Oh. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Okay, so what do I do? Um, oh, it's another one of these things. Alright, so up, alright, up, nope, up, left, alright, up, nope, oop, boop, 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 oh, I did it! Aw, oh, you've been terminated, baby, what do you think about that? Gosh, this game's got some real heavy moments. I just wasn't expecting this whole AI versus human or organic life form thing. Oi. Alright, I'm gonna go see what else I can do here in the Citadel. Alright. <laughs> or... Yeah, right outside where I was. I hear someone else to talk to. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Good for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Oh? Do tell. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Okay, so she's also a crime boss. Um... I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Okay, 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 all right, all right, you've, um, all right. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Oh, jeez, all right. What crimes did these men commit? 
They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers, those who can no longer pay or sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. All right, I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Man, there is so much to do on the Citadel. I'm really surprised. Alright, well, hmm. Back to adventuring. Alrighty, guys. I am back in the Flux. I think I'm going to continue back on the main mission because I looked through my assignments and I did another quick look around the Citadel. And I don't think there's any more side assignments for me to do so um, it's probably best for me to just move on I'm sure I probably missed a few things but you know um, I, if I missed it I don't know what it is let me I didn't talk to her after finishing the uh, side quest with her sister though hey Jenna came back looking for work thanks for getting her out of Cora's den well that's good to hear I was glad to help out yeah everyone seems real happy to have her back I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Oh my gosh, complain, complain, complain. You're welcome. All right, well, I don't, like I said, I don't think I have any more assignments to do here in the Citadel, so let's move right back along with Captain you Anderson. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Alright, so, um, I guess I should have done that earlier. Alright, guys, I'm going to head to the Normandy. I'll see y'all in a second. Alrighty, let's see what's going on with our Normandy here. I just got off the elevator. I'm gonna quick save in case something happens. Um, okay, I'm just kind of waiting for something to happen at the moment. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. This should be interesting. And there he is, typing away at his computer. Anderson, I... what are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Captain Anderson. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Oh no, are you serious? I can't believe he just punched Udina. Oh, that was glorious. That was a great moment. Ah, oh, that was a, the best moment so far in the, okay, maybe not the best moment in the game, but oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so hyped up. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm back in, in space now, all right? Can I pick where to go? Or is it gonna scream at me? I don't know if I can, um, I don't know if I should talk, like, if anyone's got anything new to say. I can't believe we stole the Normans. <laughs> I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. Oh, exciting. Missed that codex there, how embarrassing. What is, uh, let me see, what does Joker think of all of this, I wonder? Uh, here you are. Oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Oh, man. This isn't a game. The mission's not over yet. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. <laughs> so you need something? <laughs> um, I don't... How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the... Oh, okay. Balance okay. isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your right, average Alliance right. pilot, Commander. Lucky for you. I have to go. Okay, right, okay, 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 okay. Thought he might have had something new to say, so... Gosh, I really missed a lot of stuff in this game. How embarrassing, you know? I really hate how I've played through this game. I feel so ridiculous that I've missed so many little things, because I feel like I usually like to... 
I don't know. I mean, like, when I usually play these kind of games, I'm usually all over the place trying to do everything, but I've been on the main story super hard in this game, so I really don't know if my uh, crew is, or squad mates are going to have anything new to say, so I figure I'll go down here and, let's see, where's Liara? I'll see, um, I'll just check real quick and see if they do, and if they don't, then uh, back to it, I guess. It's strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> well, it seems like most of the other people have new things to say. All right. Things are different? This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. Oh. This will all be oh. over soon. Oh, that's all she has to say to me. I guess because I shut her down for the romance or whatever. She's just not on friendly terms with me now. Alright, well I'm gonna go see if uh, the, the rest of the team has anything new to say. I'll be right back. Alrighty, here's Garvis. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. It's risky, but hopefully it'll pay off. It's okay. We'll be fine, Garrus. Just be ready when we find Saren. Yes, Commander. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, he won't even talk to me anymore. Oh, here Commander. he Commander. Nope. Good to see you. He won't talk to me anymore either. Everyone hates me. Mm. How about you, Ashley? Commander? Uh, hmm, how we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a heart. I think the oh. odds are against Oops, us. Oops, I just... Odds aren't everything. Odds aren't the whole story. Who'd think one shore party and a platoon of Solarians could take out a major base? I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle, yeah, that's yeah. what pisses me off. Not being All able right. to shoot okay, back. Okay, okay. Ma'am. Okay, she basically says the same thing, so, um, how about Rex? Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Have some faith. Or what, you too? <laughs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. Oh, ho, 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 ho. They won't. I hope you're right. I'm right. Thank you, so Rex. So long, Rex. I like Shepherd. her. I like it. I really like Rex. He just he just says it as just says it like it is. He doesn't beat around the bush or anything. He just spits it out. I I can appreciate someone up front like that. How about Tali? We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. Hmm, not a problem. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. So I guess I'm not going to be welcome back to the Citadel based on everything that's happened. That really blows. I really, really wish I had done all the side stuff earlier. I should go. Ugh. All right, how about you? Do you have anything new to say? Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't worry, ma'am. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Alrighty, so I've talked to everybody that's still in my squad, and, um, you know, I want to go do some side quests now, and, well, you know, last time I planned on doing that, it kind of just forced me into the Citadel, and I have, you know, oh... Oh, whoops, those are missions. Okay, so this is, I guess, my last mission. Go to Elos. So, um, hopefully I can still... Oh, game pauses while I'm looking at the... I wish I could look at the journal while I'm riding on this stupid elevator without it freezing. Or stopping. But, um, I'm gonna go tap the galaxy map and see if it'll, uh, let me play with it. Well, wait, maybe. Hold on, I'm a little disoriented. Yeah, I'm backwards. Hold on. Whoop, sorry, guys. But, um... I, I'm gonna go tap the galaxy map and make sure it lets me go wherever I want because I've got so many side missions. I'm gonna be really sad if I can't do them. I mean, I could always load a save before Vermeer, but my gosh, that would be so much backtracking I'd have to do. Alright, so I have so many to do. I don't even know where I want to start. I, I think these, I guess these, um, where is it? The Cerberus mission is supposed to be pretty exciting, from what I've been told. And of course I want to do something for Garas, but um, I'm just going to open this up and see if it'll let me go anywhere. I'm just going to pick somewhere to go. So, there's the Citadel. Alright. 
get back out of there. So can I just, all right, as long as I guess I don't go to here, maybe I'll be fine. So I'm just gonna go to this and see what happens. There's Saul. Um, can I look at Saul or is it gonna freak out at me? I just wanna find out, <laughs> sorry guys. Alright, looks like it's letting me travel like normal. I'm not getting one of those, you need to come here. Oh. Okay, so I can actually, oh my gosh, we're in on the, oh, can I go to Earth? Oh, I can't actually land on Earth. For detailed information, please refer to the Standard Issue Alliance Gal Galactic Codex. Earth orbit is riddled with debris generated by bootstrap space development. Use the kinetic use of kinet use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over what? 60 or 85 kilometers? Really? Seriously? That's funny. Oh my gosh, population 11 billion? Oh my gosh. This is cool, getting to explore our own galaxy, Mercury. Oh my gosh, a handful of, oh my gosh. A handful of solar power stations exist on peaks of eternal light at the north and south poles of Mercury. The differences imposed by the planet's proximity to the sun and high orbital velocity have limited development. Venus this is the one that's covered in clouds, right? With its molten temperature, sulfuric acid clouds, and crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere, Venus has only a handful of aerostat research outposts. Population 800. Oh my gosh, so people actually live on Venus. This is so cool. Luna, is this the moon? Alright, and I can land on the moon? Really? An early source of helium-3, Luna is now mined for materials used in space habitat construction. Two dozen major stations have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 Lagrange points, all from lunar resources. Okay, cool, so I can go check out the- I might go do that later. Um, I need to do my side missions first, so I'm gonna go through my log and pick a side mission to do and head do that. Mars. Once considered a prospect for terraforming and colonization, the discovery of faster-than-light travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. Its southern pole is a historical preserve centered on the Prothean ruins found there. Immigration and development are restricted as the research for Prothean artifacts continues. Population 3.4 million. Colony founded about, what, like 2103, so... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I feel so stupid for never going here. Jupiter. Jupiter's deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moons from being significantly exploited. The largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. Population on all moons is like 9100. Doesn't Jupiter have like 20 moons or something or is that Saturn? I, I get these a little mixed up. I know Saturn has the rings but maybe they both have a bunch of moons. I don't know. Saturn has been a major source of helium-3 fuel for fusion plants since the 2150s. The moon of Titan is mined for hydrocarbons and used as a hostile environment training facility for Alliance Marines. Population orbitals and Titan. Oh my gosh, over a hundred thousand. That's so crazy. All the solar system is populated. All right, Uranus. Let's see. This is, oh yeah, this is the one with the weird poles, right? It like rotates on its side or something. After the development of Mass Effect FTL Drive, distant Uranus was the target of a land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 fuel and shallow for a gas giant gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of AG3 in Alliance space, and over almost 400,000 people live there. All right, and Neptune. Though Neptune, like Uranus, has plentiful helium, its remoteness made it an unpromising target for minor before development of Mass Effect Drive. With Uranus cheaper to exploit, it has never seen extensive development. The only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. In the 
population is 70. My goodness. And I guess, oh, there is Pluto. I was about to say, is Pluto a planet now or not? I, I don't remember if it's still considered a planet or not. <laughs> Pluto is one of Sol's numerous ice dwarf worlds. It is mainly note, uh, of note for being the gravitational anchor for the Prothean mass relayed to Arcturus. Pluto and the Charon Relay, formerly encased in ice and considered a moon, orbit each other. Pluto's, oops, Pluto's orbit was circularized, circularized in 2157 as a side effect of the Charon, Ma Charon, I'm not sure, Charon Mass Relay Recovery Operations. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Alrighty guys, um, that was my alarm going off just now, so I just wanted to make sure I can actually move about the galaxy. And that does seem to be the case so next time I'm gonna figure out which one of these side missions I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go for it and hopefully that'll be um, okay and I'm just gonna probably be doing side missions for the next few episodes because I don't think there's a whole lot to do after that I'm guessing I'm getting pretty close to the end of the game maybe I'm wrong but um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be done for now. Thank you guys so much for watching me derp around on the Citadel there. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time with another episode. Bye for now.